Hi guys, it's your girl Sarah here. If you don't know me, I make videos on how to earn money with crypto and NFT projects. Today, we're going to be diving into the world of decentralized technology and we're going to be discussing a little bit about a rising star in the decentralized physical infrastructure network. Devin, the Store X Network. This emerging topic is already getting some fame, so let's dive straight into it. Decentralized cloud computing has been slowly gaining some fame and attention, and that is due to its enhanced scalability, security, and affordability. By leveraging blockchain and distributed storage protocols, Decentralized cloud platforms aim to democratize access to computing resources while minimizing reliance on centralized entities. Decentralized physical infrastructure networks aim to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer connections, enabling individuals to both share and utilize hardware such as computers, energy grids, and storage through an open marketplace without centralized control. Public decentralized technology, such as the XTC network, allows Stephens to be able to manage the devices open and decentralized, improving both security and innovation. Industry leaders like the Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin and the XTC network co-founder Ristek Karkat, they emphasize on the necessity and the utility of Stephens. As the demand of AI technology rises, there's also a big reliance on centralized computing and storage, which poses a really big risk. Depends such as those in the XDC network provide decentralized solutions that are community operated masternodes to deliver computing power and connectivity. This approach avoids single failures and a cost effective reliant infrastructure. Storex Network is the example of the potential of decentralized storage that is using the SRX token. This token plays a crucial role for the payments, rewarding users, and decision-making in the network. StoreX Network's robust encryption and data sharding techniques ensure the most amount of data protection and security. Features like the end-to-end -end encryption allow users to have complete control over their data, mitigating risks that are related to centralized data storage. StoreX Network has had a huge growth since its creation. It has 117,000 decentralized storage users and 4,000 NOD operators. StoreX Network has got a great adaptability with the latest trends, that is with Depin and its latest release of B2 Testnet. It just goes to show how much commitment they have for innovation. The B2 Testnet has features like the intuitive dashboard interface, vaults for personal storage, a passphrase secret key for enhanced security, and global file sharing capabilities. StoreX Network is a decentralized storage platform that has been making waves since its creation in 2021. It aims to revolutionize the way that we use and store data. It offers an efficient, secure, and cost-friendly alternative to the traditional cloud storage. StoreX Network uses blockchain technology to be able to store and manage data on the XDC network which offers high throughput and low transaction costs. StoreX Network has been developing rapidly since its creation in 2021. It has been gaining a lot of attention and a lot of users due to its unique approach on decentralized storage. Today, we're going to be diving into the B2 testnet version on the StoreX Network which is the stepping stone to the anticipated mainnet this year, bringing new features and enhancements to the platform. Now, let's dive into the demo of the new B2 testnet of the StoreX network. 
I'm going to be showing you the interface and key features so that you can see firsthand yourself how Store X is changing the game in the decentralized storage. Before you can enter the Store X dashboard, you need to create an account. This process is really straightforward and it ensures that you have security for your vaults and data. Once you've signed up, you can create and manage your vaults and take advantage of the features of StoreX. Here we are in the B2 Testnet interface on the StoreX dashboard. The first phase is creating a vault. You can do this by creating a passphrase. This is your access and your control to your vault. This passphrase is unique to you, so please ensure that it is secure and safe. Once you have your vault set up, you can begin to upload files on it. To start uploading files, all you need to do is select the files that you want to upload and send them to your vault. StoreX really values privacy. That is why your files are encrypted and stored across multiple nodes to ensure redundancy and data security. One of the best features of StoreX is the ability to be able to share files with everyone across the internet. Once you have created your vault and have uploaded files to your vault, you're able to create a shareable link that you can share across your family, colleagues, and even your friends. They can even have access to your files if they don't have a StoreX account. StoreX Network has a user-friendly interface that prioritizes security. Privacy is also a big value. With encrypted data security, quick retrieval, and the ability to be able to share files, Storage Network is really strong in the decentralized storage market. The detailed guidelines on how to use StoreX are available as a Medium article. That was a quick look into StoreX Network and its new version of B2 Testnet. As StoreX Network moves towards the mainnet, its innovative approach to decentralized cloud computing will continue to have new and better standards. The union of StoreX Network and DEFIN holds a new era for decentralized infrastructure services. Empowering individuals and enterprises to harness the potential of cloud computing securely and affordably. You can also visit StoreX for more information. But I'm afraid that's all for this video today. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did so, please don't hesitate leaving a thumbs up. And if you like content like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Okay, I hope to see you soon. Bye!